Coming up on this episode of SEO Lunch, we crack that faucet as we look at my passion, drip content. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan. And SEO Lunch is your weekly look at sort of the newest tips, tricks um, in the world of inbound marketing, search engine optimization, things of that nature. And we take a little WordPress spin on it since that's what we work with and sort of help you out there with improving your website to improve your inbound marketing, lead generation, and search engine optimization skills. Uh, as always, folks, uh, hit the big old red subscribe button on the YouTubes. Uh, we always appreciate it. We're growing very strong now, um, working towards that goal of 10,000, which we'll get to tomorrow, I, I assure you. Um, uh, otherwise, go to our blog, slocumstudio.com slash blog. Subscribe to us on our website for all that great content as well. Um, so we've been talking a little bit, and this week we put out a video for Paid Memberships Pro um, that we talked about before, and they had added extensions. Well, if you've ever watched any of the press this videos and you've watched me talk about drip content, it's a really, really passionate thing of mine. I think it's a really cool thing um, that you can do with a website. So if you're not familiar with what drip content is, there's a few different names for it. You see people call it drip feed or drip feed content, drip content, but you could also call it like serialized content. So basically drip content is I have, I don't know, 10 blog posts and rather than just give them all to you as a user, of my website or a visitor to my website, I'm going to give you one at a time. So you subscribe to the website now and you'll get one, uh, you'll get the first article. A month later, you get the second one. A month after that, you get the third one and so on and so forth. And there's all sorts of different things you can do here. But the important part is you get people coming back to your website. So whether it just be, I have a blog and I want people to be able to keep coming to my website for hits or um, you're creating a tutorial series. You know, you're, you're showing somebody how to do something and rather than um, maybe it's beneficial to the user not to learn it all at once, you know, they need to practice it for a week and then come back and then the next piece of content will be available. There's all kinds of different options that you have there and that's what Drip Content's for. Um, Paid Memberships Pro just added it recently with a new extension. Um, basically, uh, it's called PM Pro Series for Drip Feed Content. Um, so basically, uh, let's take a look through here. I'm gonna show you how to implement it with Paid Memberships Pro. So let's go down here. So you're going to notice one thing right off the bat here, if you're looking at the screen here, that we have two separate plugins. So Paid Memberships Pro and then PM Pro Series, those are two separate plugins. Um, Paid Memberships Pro will provide linkage, as well as the series we can provide linkage. And that's from GitHub, and you can just download it there for free. They're both free downloads. So you do have to download them both separately and install them in the plugin section up there. Uh, once you've downloaded them to your computer. But what we're going to do now is the first thing we have to do, okay? We have to create the membership levels. So in order for me to have um, drip content in this case, we're going to use a membership plugin, and we're basically going to say, okay, if you're a free member, you get this. If you're a paid member, you get this, right? So we have a couple I've, I kind of created prior to filming. So we have free here, and free is, of course, just a free initial payment. There's no sort of billing. And then I have the totally not free uh, membership level, um, which is a $1 million initial payment, and then 46 cents every month after that for that um, billing. So now that we've done that, um, there's actually something else we're going to do. Oh, by the way, folks, the only way for you to be able to use these is if uh, is if you already have content created. So you're you can always add to the series as you create content. So if you add more tutorials, you can always add, but you need to have something to start with. So if you have like a post or two you want to throw in there, great, you can get started. So the way that uh, the PM Pro series works is they actually have right over here. If you look back at the screen on the left, they have a tab for it. So you can just click on this. Okay, and I had created this series. I'm going to trash it because we're basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a new series here. So you're going to the new series at the top. We can name the series. So as I mentioned before, there we go. Important messages right there. That's the name of the series. Or let's do important messages right there. Permalink. 
you'll remember the permalinks if you've been following and watching these. Uh, that's right, we already had one from before. And uh, we can put, you know, these are a series of important messages. The important thing about this is it looks very similar to WordPress backend, which is great. Or it isn't the WordPress backend, but it looks has the same kind of feel. Down below here, you're going to have to go here to post in the series, okay? And this is where, you know, I have a couple articles here that we've used as we've, as we've gone through on this test site. And here we have the delayed number of days. So I can say five days, <coughs> add to the series. Then hello world become in 10 days. Obviously these are, these are completely random articles here, but you get the idea. You can do this, that, and the other thing. House for sale. Oh, the memories on SEO lunch, folks. There you go. We now have a series of, of posts um, that you can go through and you can, you know, edit them at will there. And I can say, you know, 16 days on this and it'll move it even for you right there. So it's really cool. It's really, really smart how it works. Um, the other thing, the only other thing you have to do is we have to have a required membership. So if you look back on the screen here, right near where the publish button is, we have to actually check that this is for the totally not free members only. So only people who are totally not free members will be able to access this page and this series the way it's added, accessed, which is really cool. And there are obviously other things you have to set up with memberships. That's not what this episode's about with regards to like, you know, payment gateways. How are people going to bill you the million dollars? Things, you know, things like that. Um, but we're not going to get into that. This is more about sort of how to implement germ content in a really, really fast, efficient way. And this will create a series page for you that you can link to and have people go right there for tutorials. So it's really easy. And you just hit publish. And once you hit publish, you're done and it's been created. Um, so that's how you sort of imp implement drip content. Obviously, you know, those posts that I had there can be replaced with, you know, step one, do this. Step two, do that. Step three, do the other thing. But that's sort of how it works, and it's a really, really smart way to keep people on your site, people keep people coming back for more. You know, tell tell all your friends and say, you know, this is you know a great site to go to, and now they're hooked, and now they have to be there for months and months at a time. You can even do it with free content. You can just say, you know, for free, I'll give you, you know, get one album review a, a week. I don't know. Get creative. Um, share your thoughts. What do you think that uh, drip content is good for? Do you think drip content is good at all? Um, do you have any more questions about how to implement drip content? Any of these questions, please leave comments below on YouTube. Um, or leave comments on our blog. Um, and of course, as always, subscribe to us. We really like uh, to hear your voice. Um, it helps us a lot in creating show content if we have little suggestions and ideas, of course. And we always like to hear from you guys and what you guys have to say. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.